Hello everyone, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be explaining the slope-intercept form of a line. So the slope-intercept form I have boxed here, y equals mx plus b. The m in this equation is the slope, and the slope is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. If you're unfamiliar with the slope, check out my video entitled, What is the Slope of a Line? And I'll explain it in that video and b is the y-intercept. And the y-intercept pretty much tells us where the line crosses the y-axis. So with these two bits of information in the slope-intercept form, we can tell everything about the line. So let's go ahead and show you an example of this. Let's say that we have the line y equals one-third x minus one. So if you can tell, this is in a similar form as these, this equation up here, it's in the slope-intercept form. And so we just kind of go through it, y, we have a y, we have an equals, we have an m, and we have a one-third. So the m is equal to one-third. Our slope is equal to one-third in this line. And we have the x, and then we have the plus b here, and we have a negative one here. So negative one is the same thing as plus a minus one, so the b becomes a negative one. So we'll just go ahead and put that down. B is our y-intercept, and it is a negative one. So that was simple enough to extract the m and b out of this equation. And we're going to use this information to just quickly graph the line y equals one-third x minus one. So the intercept, negative one, we start at the origin, and we just go down one unit in the y direction. That puts us here. So that's simple enough. This tells us that the line will cross at that point, negative one on the y-axis. And it tells us that it has a slope of one-third. So the slope, once again, is the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y is one. So from the point on the line that we found on the y-axis, we go up one unit. We change one unit in the y. And every time we do that, we change three units in the x. So we go over one, two, three in the x, and we put another point there. And from these two lines, we can simply sketch a rough, sorry, from these two points, we can simply sketch a rough description of the line y equals one-third x minus one. So that's it. That was pretty quick and easy. We found the y-intercept, we found the slope, plotted the two points, and we connected the dots, we found our line. So let's go ahead and try one more time so it's clear. This time let's do y equals, we'll do a negative slope, we'll do negative one half x, and this time we'll do plus three for our y intercept. So we have the, our line in the slope intercept form here, and right here we have our m, so our m is our slope, which is a negative one half, and this can actually be written as either negative one divided by two, or positive 1 divided by negative 2, depending on how you want to distribute this negative here. And all three of these are equivalent, so I'll just uh, leave that for now. And then we want to find our y-intercept, and it's simply the positive 3 here. So our y-intercept is a 3. And now we just go ahead and sketch it real quick. So we've got our y-axis, we've got our x-axis, this time we go up three units in the y direction since our intercept is three. We go up one, two, three, right there. So the line will cross right here where y equals three. And then for the slope, we can use either one of these to determine the next point on the line. So let's try this one. So this says it changes negative one in the y direction as it changes positive two in the x direction. So we go negative one in the y direction, and then positive one, two in the x direction. So negative one in the y, and positive one, two in the x gives us a point right there. Let's try this one right here. So this time, starting at our y-intercept, we're going to go positive one in the y direction. Puts a point here, and we'll go negative two in the x direction. Negative one, negative two. So the positive 1 and the negative 1, 2 give us another point on our line. And you can see that it didn't matter which one of these interpretations of the slope we used. They all fall on the same line. So we simply connect the dots here. 
and we've made a rough sketch of the line y equals one half x plus three. So thank you for watching this video on the slope intercept form of a line. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to uh, my channel for other math tutorials and don't forget to subscribe.